The Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, celebrated every year on September 14th, recalls three historical events. The finding of the true cross by St. Helena, the mother of the Emperor Constantine. The dedication of the churches built by Constantine on the site of the Holy Sepulchre and Mount Calvary. You can learn about them in detail in our episodes of St. Helena and St. Constantine. In the early 7th century, the Persians conquered Jerusalem and the Persian king Khosro II captured the true cross and took it back to Persia. Heraclius the emperor resolved to win this back. Heraclius went to the church wearing black in the spirit of penance. He prostrated himself before the altar and begged God to sustain his courage. Heaven visibly assisted the valiant emperor, for his army won victory after victory. He got the cross of our Lord in the same condition as when it was removed. When Heraclius returned to Constantinople, the people cheered for him with olive branches and torches. And the true cross was honored on this occasion in a magnificent triumph. The emperor wished to give thanks to God by going in person to Jerusalem to return this sacred wood which had been in the power of the pagans for 14 years. When he reached the holy city, he placed the precious relic on his shoulders. But when he came to the gate leading out to Calvary, it became impossible for him to go forward. He was greatly astonished, and those in attendance were stupefied. Take care, O emperor! said Patriarch Zacharias of Jerusalem. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200 plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with, or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you, and God bless you. Certainly, the imperial clothing you are wearing does not sufficiently resemble the poor and humiliated condition of Jesus carrying his cross. Heraclius was touched on hearing this. He removed his shoes and his imperial robes, adorned with gold and jewels. Wearing a poor man's tunic, he was able to go up to Calvary. To give greater brilliance to this triumphant march, God permitted several miracles to occur by the power of the cross of Christ. A dead man returned to life. Four paralytics were cured. Ten lepers recovered their health. And fifteen blind persons received their sight. For some centuries, a second feast, the invention of the cross, was celebrated on May 3rd in the Roman and Gallican churches, following a tradition that marked that date as the day on which St. Helena discovered the true cross. In Jerusalem, however, the finding of the cross was celebrated from the beginning on September 14th. It's easy to understand that the cross is special because Christ used it as the instrument of our salvation. But after his resurrection, why would Christians continue to look to the cross? Christ himself offered us the answer. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself 
and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. The point of taking up our own cross is not simply self-sacrifice. In doing so, we unite ourselves to the sacrifice of Christ on his cross. When we participate in the Mass, the cross is there too. The unbloody sacrifice offered on the altar is the representation of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. When we receive the sacrament of Holy Communion, we do not simply unite ourselves to Christ. We nail ourselves to the cross, dying with Christ, so that we might rise with him. For Christians, however, the cross is the crossroads of history and the tree of life. Christianity without the cross is meaningless. Only by uniting ourselves to Christ's sacrifice on the cross can we enter into eternal life. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos.